I'm training trying to sub 48 second 400. And in this series, I document all of my workouts and bring you guys along on the journey so you can see exactly how I progress over time, modify my workouts throughout the year, and hopefully break 48 seconds in the 400. In this episode, I do speed endurance, acceleration, special endurance, power training, and more. I started out with the speed endurance work, doing 500s at around 85 to 90% effort. You could definitely argue that running at sub-maximal effort disqualifies this as speed endurance work, but it isn't slow enough to be tempo, so I'm sticking with speed endurance. Also, you'll notice that my acceleration on these was terrible. I have no excuse for that. My watch strap came undone on the first rep, but I managed to run a somewhat acceptable time anyway. I was hoping to run progressively faster over the first few reps and then hold on the best that I could over the last few. I'm happy with a peak time of 12.44. That's almost exactly a second off my current 100 meter PR, so for 85 to 90% effort, I can't really complain about that. I time these using the app Photo Finish Automatic Timing. I have it linked in the description if any of you want to try it out. It is very accurate and works just as well as much more expensive systems like Freelap, but at an affordable price point. To be as transparent and upfront as possible, I don't have an official partnership with them in place yet, but after almost two years of paying for the app myself and loving it, the Photo Finish team have given me access to the app for free in exchange for telling you guys about it. I would highly recommend checking it out. After the speed endurance, I came out for some acceleration work. I didn't time any of it this time around, and I also didn't measure out my distances. I'd say I averaged about 20 to 30 meters for the accelerations and roughly 90% effort. My main goals were to focus on producing force horizontally and on gradually raising my body angles over the course of the acceleration as opposed to quickly shooting upward early on. I felt pretty powerful and explosive and was happy with how the day went. The following day I did some hill runs. I'd usually do these fast over 360 meters with nice long recoveries, but this time around I decided to run them more like a distance runner with a consistent effort all the way through for about 15 minutes. You can't actually see the part with the hill because it is just off the right side of the screen, but I ran up a pretty steep hill and then ran about 80 meters past it, then turned around at a slightly slower pace and ran back down over and over again. I know that running long-ish things is completely blasphemous for sprinters and could have been building up some bad habits and stimulating me to adapt in the direction of slow twitch muscle fibers, but with that being said, I've been feeling like my cardio is severely lacking on some of my workouts, especially my special endurance workouts, and since I only went for 15 minutes, I don't think it's the end of the world. My average heart rate over the workout was 143 beats per minute, and it was fun grinding through a more continuous workout than I'm used to. It's Tuesday, September 3rd. I came out to do some special endurance work. So I was gonna do 250, 200, 150 probably. But as I started warming up, I had a lot of pain and soreness in my Achilles, both of my Achilles is because I played four hours of volleyball on Saturday and I'm not used to doing that. So it really caught up to me. So instead I might do a little bit of acceleration work, maybe a tiny bit of max speed. And then I'm gonna do a bunch of isometrics and plyometrics just to really try to stimulate the tendons and get them to adapt. And then hopefully I can come back on Thursday and have a really good special endurance session do some longer reps, which I haven't been doing as you've seen the last few weeks. And then going into next week, I'm gonna restart the really strict schedule I had been on with my exercising. So I just need to be careful and work on my tendons as much as I can. Huge spikes in workload drastically increase the risk of injury. So of course, going from zero hours of volleyball to four was a pretty risky thing to do. But hey, I had fun. And luckily I have years of experience with rehabbing tendonitis. So it was basically just another day on the job. Tendon rehab can be done with extensive plyometrics if you can handle them, isometric holds, and slow eccentrics. You generally want to stimulate them for about 10 minutes at a time and then stop if you're able to, because after that point they can start to be damaged further. I did hops in all kinds of directions, did a few different types of isometrics, and finished with a little bit of core and hip flexor work.
I was feeling a lot better two days later, so I ran a special endurance session. This session was 250, 200, 150 with slow walk back recoveries, aiming to stay within 90% of my goal 400 meter time, which is shown by my goal paces on the screen. Even with relatively long recoveries, these sessions always take a lot out of me. It's a battle to stay focused and motivated, and it makes me miss training with my teammates. With that being said, when I start hitting the paces I want to, it feels amazing, and this workout ended up being really solid. I was only two hundredths of a second off of hitting my last time, which was pretty disappointing, but I'm thrilled with how it went overall. A couple days after that, I went to the gym with my friend to do some plyometrics, power work, and of course, to lift. I just got a membership here after floating around without a gym for a while, so I'm excited to get back into some heavy lifting soon. You'll see quite a bit of that in the coming weeks. We started out with some wicket hops, focusing on short ground contacts more than on jump height. I look pretty uncoordinated here because I haven't done these over wickets in a long time. After that, we did some box jumps. The goal with these was to jump higher than the box, but the box was just there for some visual feedback. Then we had med ball squat jump throws with the heaviest med ball I've ever used in my life. This thing was like 40 pounds and it was so hard to accelerate. We did some lateral stuff, unweighted and weighted with 20 pounds, and then did some weighted isometrics and upper body work. I had so much fun with this workout, and having the new gym membership gave me a huge boost in motivation that I carried into the following weeks after this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.